One of the most frustrating things about all of my cars is that they take gas. So I'm gonna talk about how to save money on gas. This is gonna be extremely obvious, and then some of these things are gonna be not so obvious. So bear with me. The first one that we can do is drive less, obviously. Uh, what I did in college was I took public transportation, I walked, I took a bike, I moved closer to the bus stop, that was very important, and then also I carpooled with my friends. So all those things allowed me to drive less and save money on gas. Next, we can talk about improving mile per gallon for the vehicles that we do have. Some simple things that I do to my vehicles are alignment, tire pressure, spark plugs, air filter, timing, and tuning. So let's go through these real quick. The spark plugs on the S2000 made the biggest difference in my fuel economy, uh, followed by tuning. Now some cars are, are different. Some cars respond to different things differently. Alignment, if your alignment's way off and you're dragging your tires down the road, that's gonna make a huge difference in fuel economy. Tire pressure, if your tires are low, you are also going to be increasing the rolling resistance and it's gonna lower your fuel economy. Spark plugs. I had some nasty looking spark plugs in the S2000. They were 70,000 miles old. Now they say these spark plugs can go for 100,000 miles, but that just isn't true because when I replaced them, I went up by a lot. I don't even know what it was, but I came back from the racetrack. I used to come back with an empty tank and then I came back with almost half a tank. It was a really great thing to do to my S2000 because the spark plugs only cost about $50. Air filter, that you know speaks for itself, allows the engine to breathe more freely. Uh, timing. On my old Land Cruiser, when I advanced the ignition timing, I got better fuel economy. Uh, that was a big deal because that car got terrible fuel economy. Tuning also involves advancing the timing, except now we're using computers to do it. And uh, I tuned my Camaro, I tuned my Hondas. Makes a big difference in the fuel economy. And also we get more power with this. So that's, you know, that's great. So then I go to the other category, which is spending less. And this is where I really save thousands on gas. In college, I had multiple vehicles at a time. And what I found was uh, some people ride motorcycles to save money, but the street bikes don't really save that much money on gas. And I love my street bikes, but to save money on gas, I used a dual sport motorcycle to get around. And some people use scooters or other types of vehicles. Timing the purchase. So for example, the Viper was an extremely expensive car to run. I bought a Dodge Viper because I always wanted to buy one. And uh, driving that thing to work in Southern California traffic, I was getting eight miles to the gallon. So it was in my best interest to time this purchase when the commodity price came down. That is the gas price came down. So when my financial advisor was shorting oil, I sold off my oil stocks and I bought a Dodge Viper. Now at that time, I enjoyed gas that went from $4 a gallon down to the $2 range. It was beautiful. And so timing the purchase is a big deal. Uh, gas can. I bring gas cans with me to the racetrack and the reason is because I moved over here, moving is one of the things to save money. I moved to save money on gas. Sacramento has very cheap gas in the realm of California. And so I fill up 10 gallons in my gas cans and I bring it to the racetrack and I save money on gas. The gas cans also allow me to stay all day at the track without leaving the track to fill up again. Moving to a city with lower gas prices. Yes, I did this. I am that extreme about saving money on gas because it's my biggest expense. I moved to Sacramento because Sacramento is close to the racetracks that I wanna to go to. It also has low gas prices. I use a gas app on my phone. The gas app shows me which stations have the lowest gas prices. Sometimes when you're on a road trip, you can use this and you can save a significant amount of money per gallon of gas. And uh, this is a no brainer. So if you don't have that on your phone, go download a gas app, it's a big deal. Gas credit cards. I have multiple credit cards. I have one credit card that gives me 5% cash back and I have an Amex business card for this YouTube channel which gives me 3% back on gas. Since Costco is the top tier gas station around here that has the lowest prices and they only take Amex credit cards, I use my YouTube Amex business card. Final thing that I do is I have a beater car. My girlfriend and I have a Corolla that we drive everywhere and that car gets fantastic gas mileage, and that is one of the best things you can do, is to buy a total piece of shit car, drive it around, and it takes practically no money to maintain it, no money to keep it going, and that is great. So, these are all the ideas I have for saving money on gas. You can also go to specific car websites, um, automotive forums, and see what the owners are doing to save money on gas, because a lot of people are interested in doing this. Different things have different effects on different cars, and so it's important to go online and see what people are doing 
because a lot of people have already tracked this and found what works best for each car. There are also hypermiling forums, but I don't really like a lot of the ideas that they have on those forums. This is just a basic look. There are lots of other things you can do, but this is a basic look into my thought process with saving money on gas. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy your car.